All right, guys, this is it. It's finally happened. I finally got my hands on an AE86. Let's check it out. So here I am just sitting in my home. I got some uh, video footage I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna tell you all about what happened. So basically, it was uh, Christmas Eve actually and I was uh, with my girlfriend and her family. I'm scrolling through Facebook Marketplace and I found a Toyota AE86 GTS and it looked clean, paint was nice, had some aftermarket fenders on it and it was listed for $3,500 which if you know anything about 8.6s, that's actually a really good deal. So I messaged the guy to see if he still had it. He told me somebody was on his way to pick it up. So I was a little upset because it was tomorrow was gonna be Christmas and I couldn't leave what I was doing. So I said, all right, well, just let me know if it falls through. I messaged him the day after Christmas and he told me that it didn't sell, the guy never showed up. And I was like, all right, well, now I'm going to start negotiating with him. So I said, would you take three grand for it? Um, the guy was about two hours away from where I live. You know, take a little bit off. I got to drive out there. It was actually in another state. So doing like a temporary title to drive it back. You know, it was kind of like a little weird. So, you know, driving the trailer out there to drive it back and then transfer it and, you know, I don't know, I just wanted the price a little bit lower. I said, all right, let me think about it. Waited a couple of days, uh, then he, he listed it as being sold. So I messaged him and I said, hey, you know, I heard you, or see you sold the 8.6. And he came back with, somebody was supposed to pick it up. The guy didn't show up. He said, come, come give me 2,800 and it's yours. Now I'm immediately, a couple thoughts going through my head. First thing was, that's a crazy good deal. Uh, second thing was, am I about to get jumped? Cause things kind of seemed a little bit too good to be true. Um, and I didn't want to drive to a state that I'm not familiar with and you know, possibly get bring, bring all this cash with me and get jumped. Uh, it was kind of in a sketchy area close to like New York City. Uh, not, nothing against guys from New York City, but I live out in the country, I'm not used to it. So I messaged him a little bit. He's like, come come tonight and come get it. And I'm like, you know, kind of beating around the bush because I wasn't sure yet. And then he messaged me, he said, bring me 2,500 and it's yours. So now that offer was really appetizing. But once again, I still had this weird feeling like it's almost too good to be true. You know, I'm asking the guy, are you sure it can drive good? You know, blah, blah, blah. And he's saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Basically, I, I offered him, I had picked up a Volkswagen Passat that you guys haven't seen. I paid 300 bucks for it, turbo wasn't spooling up. It wound up being the Cali converter was clogged, cleaned that all out, had some vacuum issues, whatever. Point is, I spent 300 bucks on this Volkswagen Passat and I was basically just driving it to work and you know, I was making 10 pounds of boost on it, it was a fun little car. But, you know, I really wanted to say it's six. So I said, all right, Here's the deal, I'll give you 2,500 for the car, and then I'll give you a Passat if you drive it up and deliver it. It just makes everything easier. A, you know, now the guy's on my home turf, so I don't really have to worry about that. B, the title transfer was simple and easy, which was another thing I was kind of worried about. I was worried I was gonna, you know, go to this other state, do the temporary transfer, get back to PA, and it turns out like the, the title was a, a fake title or something. So he's like, let me see some pictures of it. Show him some pictures. He was like down with it. So I'm like, all right, let's 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 meet up. And he drove out, gave him the money, gave him the car, transferred both titles. And uh, yeah, <laughs> there it is. Now I got it. So my first impressions, these cars aren't fast. fast for a 1.6 liter and I atone that to like the low weight of the car um, it's definitely slower than the RX-8 was but still has enough power to drift um, you know because how light it is but the main thing is they are just so much fun to drive 
Everybody I've talked to that's had them or driven them, all they say is, you know, it's a slow car, but whenever you're behind the wheel, it just feels fast. And that's totally true. I totally get it now. If you ever get a chance to buy one or maybe drive one, definitely do it. So hopefully, you know, in the, in the near future, we got some snow coming in. I'm definitely gonna take it out. Maybe make some snow drifting videos. Other than that, uh, thanks for subscribing. I hope you enjoy the videos that I'm putting out. Don't forget to hit the notification bell because that lets you know when I upload a new video. Um, as for the future, I got a couple of things I want to do with the channel. I'm thinking about doing like vlogs, like maybe once every other day for like two weeks. See if that's something you guys are into. Um, I don't know if people just like to hear me blab on or guys just want to see like, you know, actual footage or just either drifting, or working on shit. Uh, you know, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. If you want to see more welding videos, that's something I can do. I know I've been slacking on welding videos lately, but uh, the RX-7 is kind of like almost done with all the welding. Um, so yeah, let me know. Thanks again, guys, and catch you in the next one.